Hey guys, so you might be familiar with Blizzard Entertainment. They're most known, I think, as being the, the game creators of World of Warcraft and the Diablo series. Anyway, they came up with something to make themselves sort of extra woke. We're going to talk about it. They called it the Diversity Space Tool. I know, it's, it's so revolutionary and next generation, because, yeah. Diversity Space Tool. And the way that they announce is they've made everybody on the sort of the left and the right who knows about this thing angry, which is kind of hilarious and exactly what they deserve. But anyway, uh, I want to go through some of their an announcement here. It says, quote, The idea of a tool to make characters more diverse and inclusive may seem a little hard to wrap your head around. Like, can you hear the degree of condescension here? I mean, it's just off the charts. Anyway, we'll continue. In practice, it has to be more than just, say, a pop-up reminder that between 2017 and 2021, nearly 80% of the highest selling games in the world featured white male protagonists, according to a study conducted by the Diamond, by Diamond Lobby. So? I mean, let's just, let's just turn, turn it around, okay? What if 80% of the highest selling games featured black female protagonists. Would we have a problem with it? Would that be seen as a statistic that should cause us to go, oh, no, we have to fix it. Somehow, I don't think so. Somehow, I think that statistic would be lauded, whereas this one is condemned. What is wrong with white men? Seriously, what is wrong with them such that we have to say that on the basis of innate characteristic, they're bad and we can't have them in games because, heaven forbid, uh, people look up to a white straight man, right? That's what they that's where they're going with this. And by the way, it's not saying 80% of the of all games that were sold, it's saying 80% of the highest selling. So in other words, the games that sold the best were those that they said to hell with wokeness and just went ahead and created a good game. And so now they're going to try and destroy all games in order to combat that, you know. Anyway, we'll go, I'm going to go ahead and continue, though. This, this statement continued, it goes, quote, It needs to become a part of the incubation process from the start, baked into the pipeline as an unmissable and consistent step, which is exactly what this tool was designed to be, unquote. Who wrote that? I can say, it sounds like, firstly, it was written by a woman. You know, not that I have, like, massive animosity towards women, but seriously, the way that's written is just so unbelievably, like, feminine. If it's a guy, he's not straight. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call it, he's not. Uh, but it's also written in just like this marketing doublespeak that makes me want to cringe. So what they're actually trying to say is, from the very foundation of when they start writing a game, they want to make sure that the characters have appropriate colors so that you can see the whole way that this is actually a black gay man and you can see it all the way through and everything about him is representative of whatever narrative they're going to push forward you know that he's obviously the good guy for example because that fact that guy couldn't be the bad guy because that would be really bad that would reinforce some kind of negative vibe to it this is the sort of thinking that they do but what they're doing here is enforcing a type of tokenism they're saying okay so we've got these games and We've got these characters, for the hell of it, we're just going to go ahead and pull in some characters that don't belong by our definition because they weren't there before, therefore we're just forcing them in. I mean, what is that other than tokenism? You're literally saying, you guys have value because you're going to fulfill our quotas. Our quota of it being less than 80% white male protagonists, right? So it's already been sort of... Uh, stated exactly what they're what they're fighting against that number. They're gonna pull in some other people So they're gonna create some people that fulfills their agenda so that they feel good about themselves as they <laughs> proceed forward Or oh, in their words another, another part of this statement quote as a result Hopefully we will create more characters that break the mold and better represent women non-binaries and other underrepresented minorities in the industry Unquote. I mean, it's really difficult to sort of grasp this degree of sort of, I don't know, false piety, but um, they're already going for this. Like, for example, if there was a character that was a white male protagonist, he's the lead character, let's say, and he's, he's going on to go and take on the bad guys, because that's, you know, typical plot is go kill in video games. 
And then we replace that guy with a woman in order to represent, I don't know, fixing the stereotype that the fixer is the guy. I'm just try I'm trying to think like these people and it's really difficult. Um, I don't feel good about that. Like, I don't feel, oh look, there's me inside of a video game. I feel so represented. Like, no. You just pulled a woman into your video game so you can feel better about yourself and so that you can appeal to the sort of collective notion that we need to force women into different places where, in many cases, they don't belong. And if they did belong, then your entire story would have already been based around the woman. But it wasn't. It was based around the man, and then you decided to sort of replace in order to lower that 80% statistic that you're fighting so hard against. And by the way, is it really tokenism or is it, I don't know, what's the phrase, representation of an underrepresented minority? Because that's the stupid woke phrase that we use today to not use the word tokenism, which is what it really is, which is why those on the left are most upset about it. Because you're taking people on the basis of these characteristics and you're saying, how do we make money off of these underrepresented minorities, sorry, tokens. Which one is the, the the acceptable phrase? I don't know. Blizzard certainly doesn't know because they have they've upset everybody. And rightly so, it seems, I will say, rather just. 